So, Minister Ayashi, uh, welcome to NATO headquarters. It's great to see you again. Thank we you. we met uh, not uh, so many weeks ago in uh, mm -hmm. in Tokyo, and it's a great uh, uh, pleasure and honor to welcome you here at the NATO headquarters because uh, no other partner is closer uh, and more capable uh, than uh, Japan, and uh, therefore we really appreciate our partnership, uh, the political dialogue, the practical uh, cooperation, and uh, we welcome this opportunity to further expand. Uh, what we do together. Uh, we uh, see clearly uh, that uh, in a more dangerous and unpredictable world, uh, security is not regional, security global. What happens in Europe matters for Asia, for the Indo-Pacific, and what happens in Asia and the Indo-Pacific uh, matters for uh, uh, mm -hmm. Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, your Prime Minister also said very clearly that uh, uh, what happens in Europe can actually happen in, in Asia, uh, yes. we see the war going on in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, the war in Ukraine also uh, uh, matters for you, uh, because uh, we should uh, make sure that authoritarian leaders uh, do not draw the lesson that when they use military force, when they violate international law, as President mm -hmm. Putin does in Ukraine, uh, that they can get what they want. Um, so therefore, we also welcome your uh, strong uh, uh, commitment. The, 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 the clear message from Japan, the government of Japan, um, condemning the uh, the uh, illegal invasion of Ukraine, mm -hmm. but also your support, your financial support to NATO's uh, assistance uh, package uh, for mm -hmm. Ukraine. And of course, you also welcome the fact that uh, your prime minister visited Kiev recently. All of this demonstrates that uh, actually uh, uh, security is interlinked. Uh, we are now uh, stepping up our cooperation with our uh, partners in the Indo-Pacific, uh, Japan, but South Korea, New Zealand, Australia. Uh, we we welcome the fact that you are here today. Um, mm. We'll participate in the meeting tomorrow. Yes. Uh, but also the fact that we are inviting or have invited the heads of state and government uh, or Indo-Pacific partners, including Japan, uh, to participate at the NATO summit uh, in Vilnius in, in July this year. And we also, of course, welcome very much that uh, you have decided to open a dedicated uh, diplomatic mission to NATO. Mm. All of these are uh, important steps uh, on our path towards further strengthening our partnership, which we highly value. And once again, uh, warm welcome to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Secretary General Stratenberg, for uh, following next year's uh, my first visit to NATO as a foreign minister of Japan. Thank you very much for receiving me uh, continuously this year, too. And I am very proud that my visit here led to the our Prime Minister's visit to the summit meeting of NATO last year, uh, which led to your Excellency's visit to Tokyo uh, last uh, January uh, to meet our Prime Minister and meet with myself. So that shows all these uh, continuous movement strengthen the relationship between the NATO and Japan as an AP4, Asia-Pacific plans. And there's so many issues we have to talk with. And as you already uh, simply said, that uh, anything happen in a plane uh, could happen anywhere in the world. And uh, our strict position is uh, anywhere in the world, uh, the, the changing the status quo by force as we've seen the Russia's aggression case in Ukraine, and never be tolerated, never be accepted. And also, as uh, only one country who suffered from atomic bombs in the wartime, uh, their rhetoric of using uh, nuclear uh, weapons, let alone its use, will be never, never be acceptable to Japan. So thank you very much for your acceptance here, and uh, we will be looking forward to the further discussions on these issues, these issues. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.